Hello everyone, it is Sunday, March 28th, 2021, 1.08 p.m. Just got home a little while ago from Palm Sunday Mass, um, received our palms. This year, last year, we were unable to attend Mass on Palm Sunday because of the lockdown. Um, so I was happy today because a lot of our, he, our, our pastor opened up most of our pews, whereas before, due to social distancing, about half the pews were, were closed down closed off so I was able to more people were able to come into the church so the ones that come for you know Ash Wednesday Palm Sunday Easter and Christmas were able to come and fill up our churches today which was awesome um <laughs> sorry I don't mean to be sarcastic but man um so, yes, we had a nice Palm Sunday Mass. Um, we reflected on, obviously, the passion of our Lord Jesus Christ. So, Palm Sunday marks the beginning of Holy Week. Um, so, I will be reflecting, as everybody should this week, on the passion of our Lord. And I'll be putting up a few videos um, later in the week about such events. Today, I want to go over a quick topic um, in regards to the satanic reign we are under, disguised as humanitarian humanitarianism, I guess you could say. Descri it's um, being portrayed as this inclusive agenda, Black Lives Matter, yada, 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 but what's behind that is Satan. Okay, and that's what we need to understand. So we're not tricked by the Antichrist when he comes. Like, make no mistake about it, he's coming. He's probably already here walking the earth. Um, and he's going to take over. He's going to be, he's going to come to power with a friendly face, with a humanitarian agenda, this inclusiveness. Um, and he's going to deceive many, but then the mask is going to fall off and all hell is going to break loose. And what we're seeing is this mask falling off of this agenda already for the people that are paying attention, um, especially in regards to in America, we are constantly being told we're racist. If you're white, you're racist, you're bad. Um, the Catholic Church is evil, you know, Christopher Columbus statues and need to go down. But what people fail to mention is they fail to put it in perspective. Um, and I've gotten into this in other videos, but they fail to describe the situation that Christopher Columbus found himself in. How about that? How about we describe the natives? How about we go over what they were doing to each other? How about the cannibalism? Oh, we're not going to talk about that, right? Of course we're not, because in a society where we kill our kids, um, that's probably acceptable. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's this constant um, good is bad, bad is good, blah, blah, blah. It's nothing new. But I want to I want to show it in very specific terms today um, because of a disgusting article I came across about a pair of shoes that will be released tomorrow, uh, March 29th, second day of Holy Week. Really nice timing. Um, but as Christians, we're not allowed to be offended. So when celebrities outright embrace the enemy of our souls in the, the very entity that we battle against as Christians, we aren't allowed to be offended. So understand that if you're a Christian, you're not allowed to be offended at what I'm about to show you in the year 2021. Now people ask me how easily, how I can so easily talk about um, the fact, my opinion, that it's all going to come crashing down on us, the economy, everything. We're going to be chastised. It's all going to be torn down. Um, and people ask why I'm not upset about that. Well, because quite frankly, it's painful to live in the, in, in the era that we're living in right now. If you're a Christian, it's almost um, hard not to beg God every day to take you out of this existence. I'm going to just be plain and simple. I'm not suicidal. I would never kill myself. But um, it's it's virtually impossible to get out of this uncorrupted. Do you know what I mean? Um, there's just so many corrupt, corrupting pressures constantly imposed upon us that it's just so burdensome sometimes. And without the Eucharist and the grace of God, we wouldn't be able to withstand it. But people ask me, well, how could you be so you know, cruel? It's not cruel. Um, what's about to happen 
in all the chastisements that are about to come are an act of mercy, believe it or not, because we cannot go on like this. We are sick. We are a sick society. And with that being said, I'm going to switch my screen over and show you exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So we have um, a couple months ago, actually about a year ago now, well, June 3rd, 2020, we have this, um, some Black Lives Matter protesters have been riding horses to protest. Um, and this was because of this rapper, Little Nas, was giving them props on Twitter. So Little Nas is the, the, the rapper that sings that Old Town Road song. Um, and he's a big Black Lives Matter supporter and all this nonsense. Um, so I just I pulled up this article to show you the, how we've progressed. Now, it hasn't even been a year and the mask of Little Nas has fallen off. And the, it's not just Little Nas. It's everywhere if you look. But this is just the, the example of the day. Um, he was, you know, very outspoken on social media about, you know, black supporting Black Lives Matter and, you know, their agenda and wanting it to go forward and donating it to him and to them and all that stuff. And now we fast forward, and I'm sure he's been in the news since then. But since then, but I don't, I don't know. Um, that's the last time I remember him on the news. And then we fast forward to today, and we have this lovely article. Rapper Little Nas, Little Nas X's, I don't know what that is. I guess maybe he has an X in his name now. Um, Nike Satan Shoes sparks outrage. Yes, they contain one drop of human blood. How nice. And so here's the diabolical shoes. Um, so in here, in the sole, there's some red ink. And within this red ink, there's one drop of human blood from an unknown human. We don't know which human. Um, we don't know if it's a human that was used in a satanic ritual. We don't know if it was a murdered child. We have no idea. Isn't that lovely? Um, we have on the side of the shoe here, 61666. We have a pentagram. And then we have the Nike, which is, if you don't know, Nike, it's one of the pagan gods. It, I forget which one, but it's a pagan symbol of meaning victory or, or whatever. Who I don't even bother with Nike but again it just goes to show you Nike is um, one of the outspoken social justice warriors of kneel for the national anthem and all this nonsense okay then we have the Bible verse Luke 10 8, 18 sorry which is the Bible verse about Satan falling out of heaven so isn't that nice so they're cursing what this is is a curse on our Bible verse that's why they include Bibles and Bible verses so even the Masons um, in their buildings, you know, their high rituals and all this, they'll have all of the um, books, if you will, all the, the sacred books, the Bible, the Quran, all this stuff. And people are like, oh, that's nice. They're promoting it. No, they're cursing it with their rituals. They're putting their ritual above it. See how the pentagram is up here? It's suppressing the Bible verse. See how that works? Yeah. Okay. Let me just give a description of that. And again, notice the black and red the colors that most of the time the satanic priests wear. Black is obviously darkness. Red symbolizes blood, as we know, because there's blood in there. Um, so let's 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 look at this. This was part posted today. How nice on Palm Sunday. Palm Sunday at 8.56 a.m. Well, well, what we should have been doing was attending mass, right? But we're not Christendom anymore. We are a secular society that allows this, okay? Understand. When my Lord chastises us, this is why. Understand. Okay? These are the people that we hold up on a pedestal. These celebrities. Just days after the controversial music video for his new single, Montero, Call Me By Your Name, in which he gives somebody dressed as seat in a lap dance. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. The agenda is out in the open. We saw this with, with Super Bowl. Okay? Little Nas's Oh, and he's gay, by the way. Little Nas's ex's sex top Montero video has changed everything for queer music artists. Um, and it was instantly viral. 
I almost don't want to click on it, and I probably shouldn't, but I, we have to understand what we're up against as Christians, okay? We have to understand. Because if we don't face it, we're, not, we're going to bow down to it. Just like you saw Catholic priests kneeling at Black Lives Matter protests. I mean, this is almost, I, I don't even, I shouldn't play it, but I'm going to. Because like I said, we need to understand what we're up against, okay? These people are sick. They're, they're sick. And I'm, I'm saying that not in a judgmental way. They're literally spiritually sick and, and possessed by demons. All right. All right, y'all. Um, so apparently if I play the video, I think it's a copyright infringement. I don't know. YouTube keeps blocking my video for a copyright infringement. So I'm going to try to post it without the video. Um, but if you want to see the video, which it's disturbing, um, check me out on BitChute and I will post that link below. And I will also post the link of the article, which has the video on it. that <laughs> doesn't have a copyright infringement. Um, below as well <sighs> little nos x who rose to fame after his debut single old town road became a global phenomenon created the satan shoes in collaboration with the ms chf clothing brand according to streetwear culture news outlet saint how nice s-a-s-a-i-n-t saint now, I say as Christians, we demand that that be taken off because that's offensive. But nobody cares. Nobody cares about Christians and our feelings and our traditions or any of it. Just understand what we're up against. The mask has fallen off. He presented himself last year as a young man who was concerned about racism, not even a year ago. And here we are. Not even a year later, he's giving Satan lap dances to Satan and producing offensive shoes, cursing the Bible. Because make no mistake about, th about it, that's exactly what is happening with this shoe. So the shoes will reportedly contain 60 cc's of red ink and one drop of human blood in its soul. How ironic, in its soul. Yeah, that's not a, a pun on words. Other features of the infernal footwear are a pentagram pendant over the laces in, the, in Luke 10, 18, written on the side, a Bible verse about Satan's fall from heaven. Only 666 of the limited edition shoes set to be released March 29th, which is tomorrow, will be produced. And each pair will be individually numbered. The price tag is $1,018. While the shoes are Nike's classic Air Max 97s, the shoe company has stated it is not involved with the creation or sale of the devilish kicks. Well, I don't know. I don't hear them speaking out against it either because you can guarantee if somebody was taking my shoe and making that, you would hear my big mouth. Nike told fact-checking outlet Snopes in an email, Nike did not release or design these shoes. Well, let me tell you something about Snopes. You already know my opinion on Snopes. I'm not getting into Snopes. MSCS confirmed that Air Max 97 shoes are bought independently and customized by its artists. While many fans of the rapper were readying their credit cards, others condemned the release, which comes days after Ellen X, who is gay, danced sexually on Satan in his Montero music video. Pastor Mark Burns, who has appeared as a commentator on CNN and Fox News, tweeted, This is evil and heresy. And I pray that Christians rise up against this. Grammy-winning Christian singer Kaya Jones tweeted, I told y'all what was up a long time ago. You are ready for what we are facing. Better start reading your Bible. No, you better go to Mass. You better convert and get Jesus inside of your body. His soul, body, soul, and divinity. Because that's the only thing that's defeating this. I'm sorry. I have, I'm like in a mood. Like I have no patience for this. Zero. It's like they just throw it right in our face. Like, you know, I just, I don't understand why the, the church can't see through this. Not everybody in the church, but a majority of them. Like Biden, our president of the United States who supports abortion, goes to a Catholic church that in the Norfax, when you walk in, has a BLM banner. 
but they don't understand, or maybe they do, and this is part of the plan, that that, that is the mask. Okay, that is the mask behind what is really happening. And that is depicted here. And all these people are going to tell you to get your vaccine and don't worry about the fetal cells. You're just a conspiracy theorist. Don't worry that it was developed using a kidney from a baby that could have been viably born. Don't worry about that. But this shoe sums it up. This is our society. This is our society. We let this go on. We deserve everything that's coming. And trust me, it is coming. Meanwhile, the official Twitter account for the Church of Satan, but they don't get banned. So the Church of Satan can spew trash on Twitter, but the President of the United States gets banned for speaking the truth. Understand what we're up against. This isn't a joke. It's time to wake up. Replied to the announcement saying, hook us up with a pair, fam. In response to criticism to his music video and ahead of the shoe release, Little Nas S explained he feels no responsibility to appeal to kids who loved Old Town Road in a tweet, which is sick because my daughter did like that song, I'm not going to lie. Um, there were parts of it that I was like, eh, and I didn't really let her listen to most of it, but it's a catchy song. I mean, we listened to it, not going to lie. In a tweet, Ellen X said, I am an adult. I am not going to spend my entire career trying to cater to your children. That is your job. Roger that. No, you'll probably do. Never mind. Never mind. No, they don't cater to our children. They do other things to our children. So that's how this rapper in this shoe company... And I guess I, maybe Nike doesn't want to be liable. But again, I don't hear them speaking out against it. So this, in a nutshell, sums up our society. And obviously, if you don't agree with this, you're going to be a racist or you're going to be um, superstitious, old-fashioned, um, stuck in your ways. But here's the thing. This may seem like an obscure, you know, one-time event with a crazy music artist but it's not it's embedded in our culture we saw it at the super bowl we see it with every super bowl um we see it all over billboards we see it all over social media it's it's deeply entrenched in our society and um i want to say not maybe not so much the satanic stuff i i talk a lot about there's luciferianism and then there's satanism this is satanism this is worshiping the deity of Satan. Luciferianism is when you worship yourself as God. Um, and we see, but what's behind Luciferianism is the deity of Satan. So it doesn't matter. It's all the same stuff. But what we see happening is good-hearted people getting, good-hearted, naive people getting sucked into these Luciferian, humanitarian schemes black lives matter um now with asians i guess is a problem i don't know i don't pay attention but all these schemes of you know we have to not be racist and white people are bad and all this stuff and reparations and, and, and yada 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 um completely losing their common sense um allowing you know going along with with the mental illness of transgenderism and all this stuff you see good-hearted people getting sucked into that in the name of tolerance and inclusion and being a humanitarian and get the get the abortion tainted vaccine because it's what's good for it's good for the common good and all this stuff but what's behind it is this that's what's behind it if we tolerate Abortion tainted vaccines, we will tolerate anything. If we tolerate Black Lives Matter burning down our cities and calling people who aren't racist racist, we will tolerate everything. If we tolerate the, the false narrative that George Floyd was murdered by the police, we will tolerate anything. Do you understand why they want us to tolerate everything? It's so that we tolerate Satan. Don't know how else to put it can't make it any clearer than little Nas. If you tolerate him being a homosexual and don't call it out as gravely disordered, then you tolerate him giving satanic lap dances in his videos that kids watch. 
because they're still thinking he's Old Town Road artists. It's all going to fall. It's all going to fall. First, it's going to be caused by men. A fake tribulation, if you will. Mo majority of it caused by men. Wars, fake plagues, yada, yada, yada. But then God's going to step in and put an end to it. So understand what we're facing. Go into this last week of Lent understanding that we have real en enemies. Understanding that this is what we're up against. Understanding that this is going to be the new normal. Understanding that once they do become the new normal, they will hunt you down. Understand this stuff because this is the reality that we live in. You're delusional if you think we're going back to any form of Christendom anytime soon. It's going to be very, very, very dangerous to be a Christian in the coming decade. Understand. And don't turn to God and ask, why is this happening? Because we let it. That's why. That's why. Anyway, hope y'all have a great Palm Sunday. Joan of Arc Media out.